roster cut down day all around the NFL. Plenty of news to get to here at UC Health Training Center. Hello, I'm Phil Milani alongside Eric Dalala and Sidney Jones. Eric, not too many big surprises for the Broncos here, but only keeping five wide receivers might be one of them. Yeah, Phil, I mean, we'll have to see how to, this all kind of turns out because there might be a few players headed to IR, so you could add another receiver here later in the week, maybe ahead of week one, but you're right, for now you've got five. You've got the top four there in Sutton, Judy, Hamler, and Patrick. Deontay Spencer hangs on as a return guy who can also contribute on offense. The big surprise, maybe Trinity Benson doesn't make the team. You'd figure either he would make it after a strong preseason, Tyree Cleveland, Seth Williams, Kendall Hinton, a few other options. We'll see if any of those guys end up on the practice squad, but Trinity's headed off to Detroit. The Broncos executed a trade here on Tuesday, and I thought some pretty good value for a guy that, you know, he can contribute on special teams, but maybe not the downfield tackler you want. And so to be able to get a fifth round pick, a seventh round pick, to me, that, that's impressive. A good move from George Payton. Yeah, we thought maybe Seth Williams or Tyree Cleveland or Kendall Hinton maybe would be a part of this initial 53, but the Broncos right now just with five wide receivers. Uh, Sydney, the other position we knew there was going to be some competition at was at set in the secondary. Secondary, right. Phil, let's start with Jamar Johnson. He made the initial 53-man roster here, rookie out of Indiana. He was the second highest graded rookie safety in the preseason, according to Pro Football Focus. I mean, missed a big chunk of training camp towards the beginning because he was placed on reserve COVID-19 list, but definitely showed what he could do during the preseason, especially this past weekend against the Rams. He had a nice fourth down stop in the fourth quarter and another nice pass breakup within the last couple seconds of the game. Obviously, it still has a lot of room to improve but certainly can under the leadership of Justin Simmons and Kareem Jackson. Safety who did not make the initial 53-man roster was Trey Marshall. He played in, I think, 12 games last season, contributed on special teams. He unfortunately did sprain his ankle in the opening kickoff of the Minnesota game, so hadn't practiced since. But another guy in the secondary, another rookie, Kerry Vincent Jr., rookie out of LSU, he did make the initial 53-man roster. Didn't see a ton from him in the preseason, did have a good showing against the Seahawks, had a nice couple pass breakups. He's another guy that I think has room to improve and certainly can. I think this was a good move from George Payton solely because of Isang Bassi and Duke Dawson. They were placed on the physically unable to perform list and Michael Ojemudi, he's still suffering that hamstring injury. Yeah, Michael Ojemudi uh, probably head into IR here. But yeah, you mentioned two draft picks uh, from George Payton here. A lot of potential making this initial 53. Eric, in general, the draft class this year, 8 out of 10 making this, uh, this roster. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a little surprised by that, to be honest, because we heard George Payton say during the draft that this wasn't a strong day three crop of players. And so for eight of ten guys to make the roster, only Marquis Spencer on the defensive line and then Seth Williams at wide receiver, those were the only two guys not to make it. And it, you needed some guys to step up. Jonathan Cooper in the seventh round, he showed he earned a spot. Yeah, I'm impressed uh, that these guys were able to make the team. I thought with as deep as the team was, there wasn't going to be room for eight of them. You know, I thought maybe six, seven. And so the fact that George Payton was able to find eight guys who can be contributors, uh, kudos to him and a strong 2021 draft class, which was George Payton's first, of course. Yeah, it wasn't just a draft class, too. Andre Mintz, a college free agent making this roster, 17 out of 18 years now that the Broncos have had uh, a college free agent make this team. Uh, Eric, you mentioned a trade earlier, too, uh, with Trinity Benson. The Broncos uh, were not just one trade today. No, yeah, they also got Jonas Griffith, a linebacker from San Francisco, carrying five inside linebackers, a little bit more than usual, kind of unusual there, but um, they need help on special teams. We've heard that throughout the preseason that Vic Fangio said this unit has to be better in coverage. This is a guy who I think the third most tackles on the 49ers in the preseason, a few special teams tackles, so he should be able to help out in that area. Of course, a roster cut down day, a tough day all around the NFL, but on the flip side, it could be a positive day, too. You find out that you made the team, and that's the case for uh, Deshaun Williams. Yes, well, I'm so excited for Deshaun Williams. He has really had a rough go around in this league. He's been in the league for six years, bounced around to four different teams, even went to the CFL for a little bit, is now back. This is his first time making the initial 53-man roster. Super excited for him. We saw him step up big last year after 
a couple guys on the defensive line were injured and he made some big plays. We saw that interception against the Patriots and he continued to do that through the preseason. The Seahawks game rings a bell to me, just his another interception, fumble recovery. Super excited for him, excited to see what he can do. I think he is going to be an impact player here, not just a rotational piece. And a good guy too. Uh, really enjoyed getting to know Deshaun Williams. The other guy who might be heading to IR, Mike Boone, got injured when uh, the Broncos were practicing out in Minnesota, could be heading to IR. And we keep saying initial 53. That's because this thing is fluid. You're on the roster today, maybe not tomorrow. So we'll see uh, what else happens here for the Broncos over the next couple of days. That's going to do it for us. For Eric Dallal and Sidney Jones, I'm Phil Milani.